On to some other news now. After the European Union, it's now India that has retaliated against increased U.S. tariffs. India has announced that uh, the country is imposing extra tariffs on 30 American products worth $240 million. These include steel, iron and agriculture products. After the announcement, imports from the U.S. Uh, such as Apples, almonds, chickpeas, lentils, walnuts and others are likely to get more expensive for the Indian consumers. This of course amid higher taxes. Now an official has said that the new tariffs were intended to show the country's displeasure at the re recent U.S. announcement. Hikes on a few American imports will take effect immediately while a few will, go on, uh, will uh, be imposed starting August 4th. Now this year, India has registered a complaint at the World Trade Organization against the U.S., and also gave a list of 20 products worth $166 million to the organization which it could set on higher tariffs. Earlier, India had requested American authorities to put India on the exemption list which America had rejected. After the EU, China had also warned that the U.S. action will hurt the interests of U.S. workers and farmers. Weon's business correspondent Sumit Chaturvedi joins us live on the broadcast for more on that story. Uh, Sumit, give us an idea when we say that this is going to have an impact on American business, American farmers, uh, who exactly at the end of the day is going to be the real loser in this trade war? Well, I would say, Aisha, uh, it's going to hurt uh, both sides because on the, first, on the one side, uh, U.S. Uh, farmers will, will be hurt because they are not able to produce and send that much uh, quantity as they were sending earlier. That's one thing. But on the other hand, consumers like Indian consumers will also get hurt because if imports are costlier uh, of the things uh, like uh, steel and of the agriculture products like chickpeas and all, and definitely they will get costlier in India as well. So global trade wars will have no winners at the end. And that's what experts have been warning. They are seeing that global trade wars are going in a direction where they, will, they can't decide who is winner. If Trump is slashing, uh, in fact, tariffs on certain products from certain countries and, and increasing uh, tremendously on certain countries, countries definitely it's making things difficult for workers in the U.S. also right. because uh, the overall demand will also go down. Inflation will be up. So global trade wars are a, a completely a lose lose situation for all of the countries. And Sumit, uh, if I can also ask you, I mean, uh, w w this, this entire trade rhetoric has really become just that. It is, uh, you know, the U.S. saying it's going to impose sanctions and then China countering, now India doing so, as well as the EU. Where does it all end, though? It has been the real action. And in Trump, what he has been doing is also first he says and then he goes on to do whatever he is is saying so then that's how you know the things are becoming uh, worse and it's been estimated it will bring down the global gdp as well so it's going to a direction where uh, no one is sure which side it's going to go eu is saying that we are the own allies of us if they can do it against us they will definitely not spare any country in china is a natural uh, foe uh, as far as the markets, global markets are concerned. U.S. has decided that it's not going to take China or Chinese policies so easily. It's going to retaliate effectively. That's what it has been doing. In fact, Daimler, uh, the Mercedes parent, uh, you know, they, they brought down the forecast of profits for this year because now they're sure Chinese customers, if they're not able to buy things from U.S., their purchasing power in a way will also be impacted. And because they send so many cars from U.S. to China, their overall growth will also come down. I'm talking about the, the Daimler, the Mercedes parent. So it's starting impacting every country. And companies across the world are also uh, you know, in a fix as to where, which direction it's going. That's why uh, clearly it's not a difficult thing to answer at this moment, Aisha. Okay, Sumit. Thanks uh, for joining us and giving us that perspective. We'll, of course, keep track of uh, this trade war as it's developing between the U.S. and many other players. India, of course, joining uh, the list of detractors when it comes to the imposition of further tariffs by the American president.